Hello. Hello, Catherine and uh, Kevin. Hello, teacher. What's up? How's it going, guys? All good? All good, 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 good. All right, hold on. Hello. What's up, guys? Uh, how are you, Mario? Hi, What's up, Mario? Everything's good. Did, did, did you a little bit sleepy. Did you download the new Call of Duty game? No, not really. I, I I'm not playing the Call of Duties right now. Uh, all right, all right. Sounds I'm kind good. of I'm kind of tired of those games right now. All right, I, yeah. <laughs> I played them to death before. Hi, right, sounds good. How are you, Lena? Fine, thank you. Oh, good, good, good. How was yeah, your day? Everything good. Fine, fine. I went to do some uh, some shopping. Um, okay. And then, yeah. All right, so you, you could do some shopping today, all right. Catherine, how's it going? How was Concentrics? Everything has been really, really good. Um, today I had a little bit of back-to-back, -back, but that's it. Uh, it has been a really good day. All right, so you had a back-to-back -back schedule today? All right. Just for one hour. Just for one hour, okay. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, what about you, Kevin? How's it going? It's great. My daily routine is a little boring, but thank you. Or you think your routine is a little boring? Yeah, in my job. Waking up every day at 5 a.m. Uh, okay, what do you do for a living, man? I work in a clothes company. In a clothing company? In a clothes company? Clothing? Clothers company. Is in um, the type of industry that make um, clothes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Pants and. All right, you work at a clothing company. Yes. All right. All right. Sounds good, man. Um, Danielle. All right. Welcome, Danielle. Diana, how was your day, Diana? No, uh, I had a really good day today. Oh really? Thank Why? You. Because I buy, I bought some uh, some equipment for my business. So oh, okay. Because you bought some equipment for your business. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, right? Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, Irene, welcome, Irene. Daniela Kino. How are you, Daniel? All good. All right, good job, Daniel. <laughs> What's up with Daniel's audio? She got maybe maybe the, the microphone configuration. So. Oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah, okay, got you. But that sounds cool, though. I like that voice. <laughs> it like if only cool. I, we could understand him, it would be cool. Okay, if only we had some metal soundtrack right in the background. <laughs> All right, uh, Fatima, how are you, Fatima? Hey, teacher, I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Remember, guys, to turn on your cameras, all right? Irenia, Jose, Fatima. All right. Good job, guys. Uh, Jose, how are you doing, Jose? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am good. I'm glad you're fine, okay? Irenia, yes. how was your day, Irenia? My day was fine. In the morning, I always uh, work. And in the afternoon, I do some home chores. And today, I went to the supermarket, and everything is good. All right, that's good. Okay. Well, I'm glad to have you here, guys. Thank you for being early. Um, do you know where everybody else is? Because it's only nine of us today. I know that. It's Roxy, well, Jessica is busy. All right. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for being here. Let's start. Let's get started. All right. So, guys, today we're going to continue with the past models, right? We're probably going to be finishing section number three this weekend. I mean, this week. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, let's see. Kevin, help me read. Yeah. Past models for opinion and advice. And, Good uh, job. Which one? Okay. Now, advice or advices, guys? Advice, sorry. Fast, fast, models for, fast models for opinion and advices. Good job, man. Good job. 
All right, uh, let's see, let's read the first example, uh, Fatima. You should have called her on the phone. Good job, guys. You should have called her on the, repeat it. You should have. You should have. You should have. Called her on the phone. Called her on the phone. Called her on the phone. Good job, Fatima. Uh, pick someone with, uh, pick someone that has a white t-shirt. Um, white t-shirt. What? Who? I don't know who. A white t-shirt. Eric Paredes. Let's go, Eric. Good job. Welcome, Eric. How are you doing, man? Good night. Sorry, good I'm evening. late. Good evening. Good evening. Don't good evening. Good night. Sorry. Good evening, right? Good, good evening. Hi. All right, so uh, what is the second example? Second, let me see. Um, she shouldn't. That. She shouldn't have. She shouldn't have kept your have. notes this long. Okay, she shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Okay, good job, good job, good job. Okay. All right, uh, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses, guys. Hold on, there is something. There is something weird here. Guys. Uh, did we leave? I think I think that we. Hold on, guys. Did you do exercise three point seven? No. Let me, let me play no. the platform. Hold on. All right. No, it's not done yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something happened with this thing. Hold on. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. All right, so do my favor, guys. Everybody go to 3.7 right now, okay? 3.7. Because there are two presentations about uh, past models, but I think that we already did them. The... Hold on, give me one second, guys. Hold on. This presentation looks like the other one. All right, do my favor. Meanwhile, guys, go to 3.7, all right? Okay. Seven. Okay. Three point seven. Three point seven. Yes, three point seven. All right. So right. yesterday, guys, yesterday we were discussing models, but. Uh, Oh, no, no, we didn't see this. Let me ask you something. The, the one that we saw yesterday, that was um, past models for degrees of certainty. Is that the one that we saw yesterday? I'm getting confused because yes. I have another. Yes, you are. All right, all right. We did, we did, did, we, did we see um, past models for opinions and advice? We did. Which is, which is 3.6. Did we see that? Yes, yes, we did, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, all right, so now, all right yes. so now, let's go. I'm sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm talking about, um, I'm getting confused with the other class. So let's do something, guys. Uh, let's do this one instead, okay? 3.7, right? So it's basically about the topic that we saw yesterday. Okay. I'm going to pull up the other presentation. Right? All right, so 3.7, guys, and let's go. <laughs> What? Francisco, how are you doing, man? Let's join. So you want me to start and then you go and I go and we take Yes, okay. Okay, the first one. It says, um, letter A, I invited my boyfriend over to, meet, over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. 
Well, he could he should. have rest. I think should would be an advice, and and because this is this is already in the past, he already shows what to wear. So I think we should go with should. could, could, because could. yeah, because he he's something that he cannot fix anymore. So I have could. a doubt. Uh, should is not a, a model past. Yeah, just, is an, uh, yeah, just that um, should. I will have asked him to wear something nice. Nicer. Nicer. Yeah. Okay, and number and number two. Part A says John borrowed my car and dented it. When he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. He told you. I think is he should he should have told you. Yes, should have told. He should have told told yes. you. Okay, yes. and then number B. Sorry. Just told. I uh, just told. Just told. Yeah. Uh huh. Just told it. Okay. Compliment it. Okay. And um, the number letter B. Well, let me see. I'm not sure about it. Well, I wouldn't have lent. I don't know. What do you think about that answer? I think is what I wouldn't. Uh huh. I. I wouldn't have lent. Okay. Lent. Lent. Yes, the part three. I'm exhausted, exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. She shouldn't have stayed so, so late. To me, that's so the answer. So late. Shouldn't okay. have stayed. You shouldn't, you uh -huh. shouldn't have stayed. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Must is a, like a, um, a thing that he will never do again. Spanish, I think, I think, but I don't know. I think it's only I should have it. I should, he Address. should have dressed. <laughs> yes. yes. He should have told you. Verdad? Yes. Have paid for him? Mm, I wouldn't have. Yes, I, I wouldn't have paid in the past participle. Pay, pay. Pay, paid. Hmm? He wouldn't have paid. Yes, I wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't have paid. Okay. Yes. But um, I, think that, I think that it's not necessary to add the the subject because it is in the sentences. So yes, yes, it's in the sentence. It only wouldn't have paid. Yes. Okay. And letter B. He not invite you if he was short of money. I think that if he shouldn't have invited. Shouldn't have invited. Yes. Okay, I will try. Okay, so it's, it's correct. Everything is correct? There you go, welcome back guys. All right, so let's take a look at those answers. All right, really good, guys. So uh, let's see. Uh, Mario, pick someone. Mario, give me, give me. All right, let's let's try to do something, guys. You're gonna guess the number that I'm going to write down um, on my hand, okay? Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, so I have a number. I have a number on my hand, and you have to guess it, okay? All right, uh, give me a number from one to 10, Mario. Um, four. No, it's not number four. Jose? Uh, six. No. Catherine? Number three. No, it's not three. Elena. Elena, what's number two? No, number no, it's not it's not number two. Daniel. You're muted, Daniel. No. Why number you? one? No, it's not number one. Irenia. <laughs> what? Seven. Number seven. There you go. See? It's number seven. <laughs> Good job, Irenia. Good job. All right. Irenia, you're going to give us all the answers. Okay. Let's go. Mm, for the number one, could have dressed. All right. So you think that number one is uh, couldn't have dressed? So like this, he dressed. couldn't No, could have. have. Or could have, okay. Uh, could, have could, could have dressed. Okay, could have. Everyone could have dressed. Could have dressed. Could have dressed. All right, help could me. All right. all right, let's read it all. Okay, you gotta read it all. I am. I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Well, he could have dressed neatly. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. What is the meaning of torn? This torn. What is the meaning of torn? Torn is rasgado. Okay, what is the meaning of messy? Desordenado. Desordenado. All, right. All right, very good, guys. Very good, okay. What is the meaning of, uh, well, that's it, that's it, that's it, okay. Good job, guys, good job. All right, uh, number two. Uh, Elena, pick someone. Elena. Elena, all right, let's go. Number two, Elena. Read it all. Okay. Um, John borrowed my car and rented it. No, no, I mean A. Ah, uh, it's B. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's B. I'm sorry. I, I could have asked him to wear something nicer. Oh, I could have asked him to wear something nicer. Good job. Applause, guys. Applause for Elena. Applause for Elena. Good job. All right. Um, Elena, uh, give me your favorite telenovela. Elena. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe, well, it's an old one. It doesn't matter. Uh, Café con aroma de mujer. Café con aroma de mujer, okay. Let's see, let's see. Diana, you have café con aroma de mujer. Let's go, number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a really nice novela. <laughs> All right. Okay. John, borrowed my car, my, John borrowed my car and vented it. When he returned it, uh, he didn't even say anything about it. He should have told me, told you. Okay, good job. Applause for Diana, guys. Good job, Diana, okay? He should have, everyone should have. Should have. Should have told you, okay? He should have told you. Okay? Good job, good job, good job. He should have told, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Told. Good job. All right, and B, Diana? Uh, letter B is... Well, I shouldn't have lent it to him in the first place. He's a terrible driver. Okay. Uh, well, I should shouldn't have should have lent it to him in the first place. He's a terrible driver. Good job. Applause for Diana, guys. Good job. Diana, what's your favorite? What's your favorite? Um, <laughs> what's your favorite medicine for? Uh, stomach cakes. Pepto <laughs> bismol. Uh, All right, Pepto bismol. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Fatima. All right, Fatima. Do you have Pepto bismol in your house? Yes, I think so. <laughs> All right, me too. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Fatima. Well, I'm exhausted. Mary can over and stay until 2 a.m. She shouldn't stay so late. She should have, guys. Shouldn't. I don't know how can I say that. She shouldn't, shouldn't have 
Okay, good job. She shouldn't have it. She shouldn't have. She shouldn't have. She shouldn't have. All right, she shouldn't have. Okay, good job. Uh, oh, state, right? State. Okay, good job. Um, Fatima, just pick someone. Um, Catherine. Catherine, let's go, Kathy. For that answer, I said, I typed, you should have started yawning. Okay, you should have started yawning. 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 Okay, you should, you should have started, right? Yawning, all right? Don't say yawning, guys. It's yo, yo, yawning. Yo. Yo. Yawning. All right, good job. Um, I, but actually, that answer is without the U. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Applause, guys. Good job. Good job, right? Good job. Um, all right, number number four, A and B. Pick someone else, Catherine. Pick a guy this time. Pick pick someone who looks like Hercules. Hercules. Uh, I don't know. Um, Eric Diaz? Eric Diaz. Let's go, Eric Diaz. Where is Eric Diaz? Eric Diaz, where is Eric Diaz? Oh, Eric Diaz, hello, Eric. How's it going, man? Hello. All right, Kevin, let's go, Kevin. Hello, um, couldn't, couldn't have, um, couldn't, could, hadn't paid. It. Couldn't have paid, have guys? Paid. How, how do you pronounce it, paid. guys? Paid. 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 Right, paid. Okay. paid. All right, letter B, letter B, Kevin. He will not, he wouldn't have invited. Mm -hmm. invited. Wouldn't have invited, guys? Invited. 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 Good job. Applause, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job, man. All right? He wouldn't have invited you. Okay. <laughs> it's grown. Did you get it correct, guys? Oh, grown. oh my god. So what's wrong, guys? Where is grown? <laughs> guys, tell us how in. I got the first one right, but I didn't use contraction. All right. Let's say good. But the contracted form is good too, all right? Couldn't yeah. Have... All right, let's see. All right. The second all one, right. I got it wrong. All right, let's not use contraction on the second one. I could have asked them to wear something nice. All right, guys. Now, here, guys, why are you saying could instead of should? So let's analyze this, guys. I'm not going to give you the answer to that is, okay? You're going to give me the answer. So tell me, guys. If I say uh, I could have asked them to send something nicer, does it sound better than I should have asked them to, to, to uh, wear something nicer? If I'm giving them nothing. advice, guys. Is this an advice? Yeah, I think that because he already he already picked out his outfit, it couldn't be an advice because he already picked out his clothing, right? We're talking to something about something that already happened. Yeah, but this is if you say guys, if you say should have, it's actually something that already happened, okay? When you use a past model, guys, you cannot change the past. You cannot change uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, hold on, guys. Let me, let me shush you for a little while. Okay. Yes, guys. When you use the past, when you use past models, guys, you can't change the past. Okay. However, right. I I typed should have asked, and the answer was incorrect. All right. Should have asked them. Oh, hold on. Should have asked. Let's see. I should have asked. Okay. Let's see. Let's see without the ham part of it. Okay, and you said, Mario, that you tried could. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, uh, actually, guys, this should be, I should have asked them to, waste, to wear something nicer, which means, guys, le debí haber pedido, right? Eh, llevar algo nicer, okay? Um, mm. Does anybody have this right? Does anybody have the right answer, guys, for the number uh, for letter B? Yes. No. Oh, all right. Warm. 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 Yes. 
Would have asked? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, okay guys, so, could have asked them, would have asked them, uh, should have asked them, they're all, I mean, they're all grammatically correct, guys, but this sounds like, this sounds like an advice, okay? Eso suena como un consejo, right? I should, debía haberle pedido que, que se pusiera algo nicer, algo, algo mejor, algo más bonito, right? So, in this case, guys, this answer should be, he should, I should have asked him to wear something nicer, okay? I would have asked them. Um, it's, I, I don't know. Uh, that answer, guys, is not correct, okay? I don't know why the system put it like this, but it should be, I, um, I should have asked them, okay? But good job. Applause for Fatima, guys. Good job, good job, good job, okay? All right, good job. All right. Now, guys, la diferencia que I would have asked them, if I should have asked them, es que should have es un consejo, okay? Un consejo que le debí estar dado. And I would have asked him something que ya está diciendo no puedes cambiar. Debí haberse lo dicho, right? All right, something, it's a regret, okay? So it's, okay, it's interesting, right? Number three, guys, number two. What's wrong with number two? Should have told. Should have told you. I think it is the contraction because I also uh, typed should have told and it was correct. All right. Now, guys, if you if you put it with contraction, um, contracted form is also accepted, right? But the system doesn't accept it like that, apparently, right? Uh, so good job, good job, good job, okay? Uh, B, B, guys, what's wrong with B? Oh, hold on, I know what's wrong with B. We're missing an N, D, and D, there. All right. Uh, what's wrong with uh, B, guys? Should have started. Should have started maybe with that contraction. Is that how is that how you have it? All right, all right. Uh, what about this one, guys? A for A. Wouldn't have paid. Is it okay? Is it is it right for you? Does it accept it? Yes. Okay. But how, how do you how did you spell it? What's your answer, Fatima? Wouldn't have paid. Wouldn't have paid. Okay. Tom invited me to play, but I ended up paying for us both. I would have I wouldn't have paid for him. Okay, this one does make sense. Okay. I would have I wouldn't have paid for him. Good job. Plus for Fatima, guys. Good job, Fatima, right? And the last one, guys. What's wrong with the last one? Uh huh. Does anybody have the last one? All right. He sh shouldn't. He shouldn't. Okay, he shouldn't, right? That's another advice. He shouldn't have invited you. All right. So that's another advice, guys. Okay, good job, guys. Applause for you. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, good, good, good job, right? So let's jump into the next session, guys. Help me read the objective. Uh, Eric Paredes, help me read the objective, Eric. Okay. Yeah. In this class, participants will learn nouns of discussing reactions. All right, discussing reactions, okay. What, okay, so what is a reaction, guys? What is a reaction? Reaction is like, uh, give me an example for a reaction, guys. If you have Facebook, do you know what a reaction is? What is a reaction, guys? Uh, All right. All right, so the, the reaction, emotions. guys, emotions, guys, right? So they're related to emotions, okay? All right, so everybody repeat. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. All right. Example for an assumption, guys. Help me read, um, Irenia. The example for an assumption. If you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. Good job, guys. Okay. So, everyone, if you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. You do it again. You'll have to find a new girlfriend. All right. What is, what is wrong with this sentence? What is wrong with this sentence? 
All right. Instead of girlfriend, it should be toxic. All right, just kidding, guys. Right? All right, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, number two, guys. A criticism. A criticism. Okay, right. Uh, who can help me read the example for the criticism? Eric yeah. Diaz. Let's go. All right. Let it be. Uh -huh. Okay. I bet you were out with another woman. Okay, right. Everyone, I bet you were out with another woman. I bet you were out with another woman. Another woman. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so this is not, guys, these examples are not the ones to the left, okay? <laughs> they are not in the right order, right? Everyone, a demand. Demand. Okay, all right. Let's read letter C, guys. It can be, it can be, so, be so inconsiderate. Everyone, inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. All right, no, number four. An excuse. Everyone, an excuse. An excuse. An excuse. Okay, all right, and let's let's read uh, E, I mean D. You'll probably forget, 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 our, anniversary. forget our, our anniversary too. Okay, all right. Number five. A prediction. A prediction. A prediction. All right. Prediction. All right. Let's read E. e. Now you have to take me out to dinner, twice. Me out twice. Out twice. Me out dinner twice. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Now, um, number six. A suggestion. A suggestion. A suggestion. Right, let's read F. You must have, have, have one. Have one to, one to break, break up with, with me. me. All right, number seven. A suspicion. A suspicion. A suspicion. A suspicion. All right, and letter G. You know, you are to buy me flowers. You are to buy me flowers. Pronunciation, guys. Ut. 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 All right, now, if you want to read it like an American, Ada. Everyone, Ada. 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 Right, which is Ada, like that. Ada, Ada, buy me flowers. Someone, Ada, buy me flowers. Ada, buy me flowers. Ada, buy me flowers. Ada, buy me flowers. What is the meaning of what is the meaning of odd, guys? What is the meaning of odd? You must. Like must. Like you must. Okay, good job. All right, and the last one, guys. A warning. A warning. A warning. 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 All right, and the answer for that. It's okay. It's okay. You must okay. be you really, must sorry. really sorry. All right, guys. You feel really sorry. All right, guys. So, uh, so we're gonna work together, guys. It's my okay. Favorite. You must feel really sorry. So you're gonna do this, guys. You're gonna do this in couples, okay? You have to choose, guys. Oops, I'm sorry. You have to choose uh, which one goes with which, okay? For example, let's just work on the first one. An assumption. According to the examples on the right, guys, what is an assumption? Either B. B. If you were. I think it's F. Another woman. All right, you think it's F, uh, which is you must have wanted to break up with me. All right. All right. I don't know. Decide, guys, because there is one one for each of them. Okay. All right. So let's go, let's uh, let's get together, guys. All right. And let's match the sentences with the letters. Got it? Got it? Got it? Got it. Yeah. All right. Got it. So let's find out which ones they are. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought that was Jessica talking. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. So, reading the examples, uh, my opinion was that it's probably F because it's saying you must have wanted to break up with me. It's something that she doesn't know. She's assuming. 
Maybe yes, see, yes, yes. see this letter F, you say? Yeah. But what do you think? Do you think it's okay? Ah, yeah. Yes, I think that is there a bit too. Okay. So a criticism, let me see. I think that the number two is letter C. You can be so consider it yes yes okay. yes okay yes a demand a demand um letter i think that is yes letter g I want to buy me flowers, okay? Yes. Um, an excuse, let me see. An excuse. Let me see. If you do it again. Hmm. I don't um, know. I don't know. Yeah, so if you want it, we can continue with the next one and we okay. can do that. Now. Okay. So a prediction, a I think prediction. that is letter D. D. You mm -hmm. probably, ah, yes. <laughs> D. A suggestion. Let me see. D. Like you probably forget. You say you're uh, probably forget. I think D is number five, a prediction, because it will happen in the future. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. So I think D is five. I don't know if you agree. Prediction, you probably forget. Mm. A prediction. Because it's in the future. You'll yeah. probably forget our it's anniversary. It's with a future. Yeah, it's so like it's a prediction. letter A is with a future. Yeah, but it's with a future, but with a consequence, so that's why it's a warning. See, letter A says that if you do something in the future, you'll have to find a new girlfriend, so it has a consequence. It sounds more like a warning, like a, I don't know yes, how to say. Exactly, in the yeah. A, a warning, but a prediction, I would say D, for sure. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. It's, it's, it's number five, right? Yes, I think D is number five, yeah. Okay. Let's see, so I'm missing one? four, six, and seven. That's the ones I'm missing. Four, six, and the letters, they are missing what, what they are, what are they? Let me see, B. B, mm -hmm. And okay, see. G and G. H. And H, okay. Let me check the B. I, I think, out. you know, I think number six is the letter G, a suggestion. You, 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 you know, you ought to buy me flowers. But it's not a suggestion, it's like yeah. a, It sounds like a order. demand. Yeah, like it sounds like order. a demand. Yeah, like a but you know, E and G, they both sound like a demand. You must feel really sorry. Okay. That sounds like an excuse, but it's the only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, H. So if you want it, we can read it. Okay. So I'm going to start. Okay. Yes, I think. And letter H, it's okay, you must feel really sorry. <laughs> uh, I think that. This one is left. What, what, in the number one, which one? Uh, I think it's letter D. You D. probably forget our anniversary too. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, Elena, did you finish the, the last 
¿Y le hace eso? 3.7. ¿You guys finish? Finish. All right, you did, you did, you did. Okay, we're going to go back now. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so let's discuss this, guys. So what do you think the first one is? Let's see uh, your vote. Who thinks that it's uh, number one, guys? My vote goes for F. All right, how many F do we have? Do we have anybody that says otherwise that it's not F? I think it's letter B. You think that it's B? I think it's letter D. <laughs> All right, an assumption you think, I bet you were out with another woman, okay, so. It's an assumption. Okay, what about, uh, you said that it's letter F, and what else? Uh, B, I think someone said B. And somebody said D. D. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. Okay, all right. Which one sounds more like an assumption to you guys? The letter D. F. F. You must have wanted to break out with me. Okay, all right. So which one is a criticism? The letter C. You can you can be so inconsiderate. Okay. All right. Which one is a demand? Letter D. E. E. Letter E. Okay. Uh, now you have to take me out for dinner twice. Okay. All right, very good. An excuse? Letter H. H. Letter H, it's okay. You must feel really sorry. All right, letter H, all right. A prediction? Letter D. Letter D. D. All right, letter D, all right. A uh, suggestion? Letter G. G. All right, letter G, okay. You know, you ought to buy me flowers, okay? A uh, suspicion? That's letter B. B. Letter B. Okay, good job. And warning? Letter A. a. Letter A. That is absolutely correct, guys. The assumption was letter F. Applause for you, guys. Good job, good job. It was letter F, guys, right? Because, all right, the reason why, guys, I know that B sounds like an assumption, but that's actually, guys, that's why we have a warning down here, okay? All right? It sounds more like a warning than anything else, okay? Again, a suspicion too, right? When you say... Uh, Oh, I bet you were out with another woman, right? Eso es la, right? Típico, tóxico, tóxico, right? I'm not going to include just girls, right? We do it too, right? Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, right? So now let's do exercise, guys. Um, let's go to exercise uh, 3.10, okay? Before we do that, guys, guys, do you have any question regarding the whole, um, the whole, the whole, mo the whole, um, Section, do you have a question regarding past models? Do you have a question regarding vocabulary? Um, do you have a question regarding vocabulary for any anniversaries and uh, reactions? No? All right, if you don't, guys, no. if you don't, let's go back again and let's finish exercise three. All right. Hey, uh, saludos a quien está en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? Jabalí. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. have to find a new girlfriend that was a warning right yes it's a warning okay I remember it's a fiction 
question. Okay. And Elena, the number three. What? what? It can be so inconsiderate. Your C is a criticism. It can be so inconsiderate. That was what? You can a criticism. A criticism, okay. And the number four was it? You will probably forget our anniversary too. It's a prediction. Prediction. Okay. The number five is now you have to take me out to dinner twice. Ah, uh, demand. Okay. The number six, Elena. You must have wanted to break up with me. It's um, letter A. Uh -huh, letter F. Number one, an assumption. 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 Okay. The seventh one, Jose. Yes. You know, you order to buy me flowers. Is a. Criti what? Which one? Criticism. A no, a demand, I think. Okay. Yes, a demand. So, and you must have wanted to break up with me. What do you think? What is the answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Warning? No. 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 Yeah. I think there is an assumption. Assumption too? No, we yeah. don't have assumption, right? No. Okay. You know, you mm -hmm. ought to. Auro, ¿cómo digo? Auro. Es a... Ana... It's like that makes you feel less bad. No, I don't know how to say. Less angry. What's up? You guys good? Yeah. We're, we're finished. All right, all right. Uh, talk, 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 okay? Okay. <laughs> People are still working on it. You guys are very smart. So, <laughs> okay, thanks. All right. So, Eric, what do you like to do, Eric? What's, what, what are your hobbies? My hobbies? I like reading so much. You like reading? How old are you? 37. 37. And what do you do for a living? I work at Banco Promerica. Oh, okay. All right. Are you, uh, what are you at Bank of America? What's your position? Um, deposits shift. That's um, on the operations area. Oh, okay. But I'm not, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but I bet it's cool. Numbers, like... numbers and more numbers. All right. Numbers and more numbers. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, hey, that's pretty cool. So you like reading a lot. What, what's, your, what's your favorite book? It's so hard to choose only one, but... Um, Which was the last I, one that you read? The last one. Uh, let me... The Kings of the Sun of uh, George R. R. Martin. R. R. Martin. Okay. All right. The same author of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. But that's G George... Um, yeah, R. Martin, right? Yeah. Yes. Isn't like uh, J R R? No. I right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, that's good. That's good, man. All right. Uh, what else aside from reading? What's that? Um. Well, um, I I used to go out um to some tourism. Okay, you like to to um to do tourism around around El Salvador? Yes, around El Salvador to to know some um, small towns. Oh, okay, all right, sounds good, sounds good, all right? Hey, good to know, man. Good to know, just to get you know to know you a little bit and to see your to uh <laughs> to to criticize your English, but that you're good, man. You're good. You're good. Okay, you're okay. good. All right. Mr. Teacher Mario, what about you, man? Aside from playing video games, do you like to do something else? You know, I was starting to like the the 
the side of going out a lot. <laughs> I when I was young, I usually spend most of my time at home playing. Okay. But but since I got with my new girlfriend, we, she she pushed me pushed me a lot to to go out more. Oh, okay. All right. So we started we started going out, but since since this started, I think we we had to put it on. You had, you had to put it off. Yeah, exactly. All right. Put put <laughs> off, guys. It's to pause something, right? You had to put it off. All right. Have you okay. seen? When was the last time that you saw your girlfriend? Oh, we currently live together, so that's oh, not a problem. Together? Oh, okay. Yeah. How old are you, man? I'm 23, not 24. Oh, that's good. And you live alone? Uh, we live in an apartment together. Oh, that's good, man. That's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty pretty good, right? I'm glad for you. I'm happy Thank that you. you're happy, man. <laughs> All right, Thank let's go back, guys. Let's go back. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see. All right. So I'm gonna go back one by one, guys. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna one pick, one. I'm gonna choose people as I see them on the screen. Okay, from top to bottom. All right, Kevin, number one. Hello. Hello. Now nah, with the number. Let me see. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. It's a warning. <laughs> you, All, right. You pay for it. All right, good job, Kevin. Mario, too. I bet you were out with another woman. That's a suspicion. Okay, number three, Jose. You can be so inconsiderate. It's a criticism. Everyone, criticism. Criticism. All right, number four. Cool. Number four? Ooh. Uh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh Diana. <laughs> okay. You will probably you will probably forget our anniversary too. Okay. A prediction. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired today. Like it's 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 Thursday. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Irene, let's go. Number five. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. A demand. Oh my god. Ya imagino eso, right? All right. So uh, let's see. All right, who's below Diana? Uh, Catherine, number six. You must have wanted to break up with me. All right, That's good job. That's an assumption. That is what? An assumption. An okay. assumption. All right, number um, seven, uh, Elena. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. 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 All right, guys, let's learn the pronunciation. Ought to. Ought to. Ought to. Ought to buy me flowers, okay? Ought to buy me flowers. That is a? Suggestion. 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 A suggestion? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, number eight. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, who's the last? Fatima. Um, it's okay. You must feel really sorry. Is an excuse. An excuse. Okay. An excuse. Where is an excuse? An excuse. There you go. There you go. Right. Let's see, 25 out of 25 points, okay? Applause for you guys, super good job. Good job, good job, good job, okay? All right, guys, so let's jump on to the number, uh, to the reading section, guys, 3.11. All right, guys, so. A car again. Están buenas las carreras de el jabalí, right? All right, guys, so let's do a quick reading, guys. You got five minutes to finish this. So read it and finish the exercise, okay? We're going to finish section number three today. So let's go. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Same people, guys, let's go. The picture, what do you think the blue lights are? Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado, has a population of only... Or opinion. Hey, but I can see the, the article. It's not charging my internet. 
Okay, I'm going to start reading, so. Okay. Today, the town of Silver Cliff, Colorado has a population of only a hundred people. Once, however, it was a prosperous mining town where thousands came with dreams of finding silver and making their fortune. Your, are you ready? Yes. So, yeah. Would you like to continue reading? Let, let me check, let me check, let me check. Ah, uh, no, 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 it's slow, no. sorry. Okay, uh, I'm going to late, late one night in 1980, a group of miners were headed back to their camp after a good time in town. They were still laughing and joking as they approached. They grabbed yard on, hill, on a hill outside Silver Cliff then one of the men yelled and pointed towards the graveyard. The others fell silent. On top of each grave, they saw plant-like, blue-like. There is, I don't know, how can I pronounce that? This area like seemed to be dancing on the graves, disappearing and then appearing again. Okay, I am ready. Okay. Uh, this was the first sighting of the blue lights of Silver Cliff. There have. How are we doing, guys? All good? <laughs> Why are you laughing, Harry? <laughs> you meet it, man. You meet it, huh? What's okay. up? All good, man. All good? Very good, Kevin. Kevin, are you there? Hello, yes. My reading is uh, a little slow. <laughs> it was in the second paragraph. All right, all right, we have to go back now because it's almost time, okay? You can finish it home okay. if you can finish, but uh, we're going to go back right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was muted. Uh, Kevin, number one, Kevin. You know, let me see. Today, the town of Silver has problems. And uh, it's, fa it's a fact. It's a fact, okay, all right. Hey, guys, what's a fact? Fact. Something that is, Nature, true, right? that is true. Something that is true. Okay, number two. Uh, Catherine, oh, you haven't finished. Uh, Elena, let's go. Number two. Uh, the, the miners or the miners? They want miners. 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 Uh -huh. miners. miners host man-like blog. blog Playing blog, light. On top of each grave. And that's an uh, opinion or a fact? That's a fact. All right. Fact. Mario, number three. Number three, Edward Lynn Lineham suggested various explanations for the lights. That's a All fact. Right. All right, good job. All right, number four, Dana. Are right, you muted, Diana? You're muted. Jose, number four. Number four, the lights were actually a reflection of light from the town. It's an opinion. All right, Diana, are you ready? Number five? Yes. There was no evidence of radioactivity. That's a fact. All right, and number six, Anna? The lights were from the helmets of dead miners. Miners, I don't know. Miners. Miners. That's an, okay, that's an opinion too. That's an opinion, okay, good job. All right, guys, 25 out of 25. Applause for you guys. Good job, guys, good job, right? Uh, I don't have too much time to say goodbye to you guys, but thank you so much for coming next week, guys. Connect early because we're going to start with section number four, okay? And section number okay. four is a little bit more complex, so that's um, so get connected, right? Then what about again, the, huh? the midterm exam? Oh, we're going to get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Eso no son okay. tan largos, right? Uh, guys, uh, so, um, ya empezó la clase o sea, dos minutos, guys, así que los tengo que dejar. <laughs> see you guys. Sí, sí. Thank you for going, guys. Take care.